Hi everyone, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on how to discern the activities of Satan around our life and destiny. This video will bless you powerfully. Prepare to be blessed by this video production and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Learn to discern when Satan is around the vicinity. Negative things start happening. Someone who used to love you now hates you for no reason. Don't sit down and say, my boss, I'm finding flimsy excuses. He is not my tribe, that's why. They will soon drive you out of that place. Go and shut the door and say, I know. I know that when you grant favor, oh God, you grant favor completely. In the name of Jesus, the spirit around my place of work that is making them antagonize me. I call the name of the God of Jeshurun and I curse you over this office. Hallelujah. There are preachers with all due respect that begin to see the movement of Satan around their ministries. Stories are flying around. Things are happening around. People are becoming rebellious, antagonistic. It is not a leadership problem alone. It is a spiritual problem. It means that Satan has discerned the impact of that organization, that ministry, and he's coming to scatter everything. Your assignment is to learn to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray. In one week, you spent over one million treating mysterious sicknesses. Your husband became sick. Just when you were trying to help him, the children became sick. Then you hit your car somewhere, and then the generator stopped spoiling, and then everything is happening, and you find out you are getting angry without cause you can't pray you can't fast it's an attack it's not psychology it's an attack a once brilliant child now that you started paying school fees of say 1.5 million per term because of your passion to invest someone who used to be the brightest in the class now does not know he's about maybe the second to the last and you keep quiet and he keeps going down one time the school calls you and say we're sorry we may have to relieve you, your child. It is not your child's being dull. It is called the waster. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Once great, once blessed, once anointed, once upon a time, with all due respect around the world there are many vibrant people who used to serve the lord with energy if you hear that they are coming to town or you hear that they are coming to a nation i mean you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there but today they call on a nation and nobody answers can i tell you the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where god places you and then in your lifetime and also in the presence of those you raised you go down i forbid it over your life <laughs> hallelujah some of your parents some of our parents in their lifetime they were blessed they loved Jesus. They had influence. Some of you saw people line up in your houses just to see your parents. But in old age, they are alone. Everybody, you had to change your surname because if you still use that name, it may program failure for you. Come on now. Satan for you. Mm. You have known the works of God. I think I was teaching for who now? I think it was, it was Bishop Adejimo and i shared something in that meeting i still remember there are things when you see you know is a man that has done it there are things when you see you know it is god that has done it but there are things when you see you know that this is satan hallelujah a man comes to meet you and say young lady i like you you're a nice lady let me go and see your parents and then satan intercepts and all of a sudden doesn't pick the call again doesn't do anything again what happened i had a dream and i saw that you were a witch come on now satan for you i'm, I'm saying this because i'm going to pray for someone anything that has taken away your glory any demonic thing that is bringing you to a point of shame i call upon my god who is also your god he must give way be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now Hallelujah. Please sit down.
with all due respect there are people today perhaps they would have been appointed in certain great positions around the world but just before the appointments get there there were some Ahitophels who reached before them and said do you know what don't lift this woman don't lift this man and they have remained so I made up my mind that that story once great will never be used in my life no that story once anointed once impactful but to to keep that testimony it takes more than a heart of integrity you must know what to do with satan hallelujah you must know what to do with satan i once prayed for a lady true story this lady met me and she said apostle you must pray for me i think i'm possessed i said how do you just come and say you are possessed she said i don't understand everybody keeps having dreams that i'm either pursuing them or killing them it's my face they keep seeing more than according to her over 10 people in the church and then of course they will share with the church leaders and everybody just told them avoid this lady and some already had called her a witch a faithful worker in the church and she noticed that her leaders true story the leaders who avoid her everybody will avoid her because they go to bed and they see her face i can tell you that is a satanic manipulation because her destiny is around that vicinity and satan may know that in her rising maybe the rising of her family members satan is very calculative he makes sure that what he attacks must create a ripple effect who can i touch in this family that will affect the 20 other people oh you are the one then he comes do you know why you lost the job it's not just an issue of incompetence you better open your eyes and see that this was an attack because in your getting that job is the health the nourishment and the stability of every other person in your family hallelujah praise the name of the lord a dear woman one time reached me and she said she gave birth to according to her now and i'm saying it because she had shared the testimony herself she gave birth to a normal son very fine very normal son and then i think about the age of three or four he began to exhibit hyperactive you know he started behaving you know this and that and they went to the hospital only to say that the boy was autistic and she said i never gave birth to an autistic child this child was normal this child was this and that and they gave some drugs and she just felt that's all right you see carelessness again that was a time to attack this thing with energy no let him just grow a while and they found out that the thing was getting he was becoming violent and i said madam you are not just a mother you are not just a wife you are a priest if you ignore that duty it is not only this child everything satan does is not the only thing he wants to do it's just the first thing he's doing did you hear what i said every attack satan launches on your life is only part one i assure you there is part two three four and part infinity coming to the degree to which you allow him but as for me from onset i don't have the time to waste immediately not koinonia not joshua selman the blood is upon this ministry in the name of jesus christ is someone learning now this is where the place of spiritual intelligence comes learn to discern where, when satan is around the vicinity negative things start happening someone who used to love you now hates you for no reason don't sit down say my boss i'm finding flimsy excuses he is not my tribe that's why they will soon drive you out of that place go and shut the door and say i know i know that when you grant favor oh god you grant favor completely in the name of jesus the spirit around my place of work that is making them antagonize me i call the name of the god of jeshuron and i curse you over this office hallelujah there are preachers with all due respect that begin to see the movement of satan around their ministries stories are flying around things are happening around people are becoming rebellious antagonistic it is not a leadership problem alone 
it is a spiritual problem it means that satan has discerned the impact of that organization that ministry and he's coming to scatter everything your assignment is to learn to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray in one week you spent over one million treating mysterious sicknesses your husband became sick just when you were trying to help him the children became sick then you hit your car somewhere and then the generator stops spoiling and then everything is happening and you find out you are getting angry without cause you can't pray you can't fast it's an attack it's not psychology it's an attack a once brilliant child now that you started paying school fees of say 1.5 million per term because of your passion to invest someone who used to be the brightest in the class now does not know he's about maybe the second to the last and you keep quiet and he keeps going down one time the school calls you and say we're sorry we may have to relieve you, your child it is not your child's being dull it is called the waster there is something called the waster in scripture is someone learning the waster demonic attacks are real i assure you by god demonic attacks are real satan attacks men he attacks ministries i told you that there are demons allocated over territories there are spirits allocated over you know generally believers to stop the purposes of god but there are spirits that are allocated they follow mantles they follow offices not men whoever holds that office and holds that mantle will have to contend with that spirit there are spirits that follow ministries not men so there is a widespread manifestation of certain disasters how will you like to be part of a ministry that you hear that in one month 25 people just died mysteriously it will now make sense to say that could it be that something is happening and in in, in peace you will leave that is satan for you i'm saying it again in the name of jesus every attack because some of you you came to church tonight you are in the middle of an inexplainable battle rising from left and center what is happening in my life god give me an explanation and i'm telling you that for many of you it is just an assault an attack from satan now listen one one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health listen listen this health you see i know that there are many doctors here and with all due respect i honor and i respect you we're having a training already for our medical practitioners but can i tell you with all humility i've been in this business of ministry and the spirit life for a while i know what satan does it is impossible for satan to attack you and leave your health it's a lie how do you know mysterious manifestations they first start small he tests your capacity in the spirit and then you keep quiet it's just continuous headache that comes every month it's just it's just some demonic thing um help them please I, I know that this thing i'm just feeling serious pain i went to the hospital and they said it's nothing um it's just a it's just a mild bleeding situation it, the, the doctor said he does not understand but he's still there i just know that every time i lie down i see myself in a coffin somewhere and i wake up tired my friend get up from the strength of spiritual intelligence and begin to deal with that issue otherwise you would destroy your life hallelujah praise the name of the lord know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with you there are certain tiredness that is not because of the work you are doing it's an attack from hell hallelujah heart pain headache and they tell you they found a tumor at the back of your head how did it get there we don't know what is going to happen now you need 10 million 15 million and you've saved just when you save to finally build a house i tell you it's an attack don't smile and say it's all right it's just part of these things hallelujah it's good to eat well walk with what the doctors say i eat well i make sure i eat healthy don't be careless but in addition to it please come to terms with the fact that we live in a real world and don't let satan lie to you taking advantage of age 
you are not the first person to be old refuse that thing that the older you are getting the more you should deteriorate i don't know about you but i choose to reject it no as my days are so shall my strength be this is what my bible teaches me if you don't believe this you will get into trouble one day you will wake up a young man 30 40 years you stand up as if you are 80 years reject that spirit It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer. I cause fibroid. I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe what you are doing? Satan attacks men. He attacked Jesus. He attacked the apostles. He attacks everything pro-God. He attacks everything pro-grace. He attacks everything pro-life. He attacks everything pro-destiny. He attacks everything pro-wisdom. Your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Your business was working well. But the day you said I would take 20% out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children, maybe young people who cannot make it. Satan said, what did you say? That Jesus will benefit from this business? All right, I'm on my way coming. Hallelujah. Someone wants to bless you. That's when they forget someone promises to lift you that is when they forget they vow calling the name of jesus that this week you will smile that is when they forget is your assignment to force them to remember no 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 listen if you are a businessman here and things have not been working please when it's time to pray i'm releasing my faith with you be serious and pray be serious and pray don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator. The arm of flesh will fail you. Oh. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You go to bed and you see yourself in a grave. Wake up and close that grave. Wake up and close that grave and curse the spirit that dug that grave. Hallelujah. Parents, don't watch. You see what? I'm not scaring you. But you see the kind of disaster that is happening? Bless your children. Speak over them. Declare that you go out and you come in. The Bible says you're going out and coming in. You will not go out and get missing. You go out and I expect you to come in. No one chance. No satanic driver. Anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children. In the name of Jesus, I said minus you and your children. I'm not wasting your time. When the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this, it is because he's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things. For some of you, you have lacked discernment. For some of you, it is carelessness. For some of you, it is, what's the third one? Ignorance. For some of you, abuse. But for some, you've done everything right. Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life. Hallelujah. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Doors, close, help us, go away, jobs, whatever it is. People who used to like you and want to help you, they see you and they say you are such a nice person. You have a great heart. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see how I can help your family. How about those who even go through the interview for the jobs? They've called your name. They've told you everything. They said, all right, you'll hear from us in two weeks. Two weeks have become two years. In destiny, your portion does not come to you. You force it to come. Did you hear what I said? He said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violence. And ladies and gentlemen, the spiritually violent will take it by force. Ministry will not rise till you force it to rise. Your finances will not rise. It will go up and down. He says, strong men retain wealth. You need to know how to command your portion. hallelujah hallelujah now let me show you a key i want us to pray i don't want time to go before we pray because i have to fulfill this assignment let me stop here and show you a key i don't know how many you can take but i want to show you the keys for total deliverance you need the key you need the key knowing what god wants to do does not make it happen in your life you must know the will of God and the strategy to bring that will to pass. Learn this. It is not enough to know what God wants to do. The knowledge of the will of God does not translate to experiencing his will. You need to know the will of God and then in addition, know the strategy. For many people, they know what God wants to do, but they do not know the strategy. They were not patient. God told you, I will do this in your life. And they just said, Amen. If, listen, 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 listen. Thank you, Jesus. God just put this in my heart. Listen. It is God's will plus God's strategy that equals God's dimension of results. God's will plus your strategy will not work. You can know the will of God. God wants me to do this. God wants me to go here. But if you don't stay, usually he does not reveal his will and his strategy at the same time. You need to have spiritual understanding to know that if you have received a blueprint of God's will, then stay until the strategy comes. Just because he wants to give you Jericho does not mean you, you invent how to defeat Jericho. You may use a sword and die like he did not direct you. It is God's will plus God's strategy. God says you should start a church. Let him give you the strategy on how to build it. God said you should start an NGO. Don't invent your strategy. God will never speak to you and not give you a strategy. It's just that sometimes the strategy does not come at the same time. You have to wait. Your matching order is when the will and the strategy arrives. Did you hear what I'm saying now? God said he will give me a house in Abuja you may say that is true but by what strategy you have to wait God said I should relocate to Abuja and come and do ministry but what strategy you can hang around this city for forever and find out that doors does not open for you because the strategy is not there God said I should expand my businesses to Europe and America you may say and then you just get up and start doing it in the flesh most times the trouble is is not that people did not hear God is that they do not know that in actualizing prophetic things the speakings of God it is the knowledge of his will plus the grace to stay until you receive the strategy the moment the strategy comes the miracle is about to happen we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you